The American Idols made a stop at Providence this past week, and our own T.J. Del Santo spent some time getting to know some of the stars and some of their biggest fans. T.J.? When the American Idol tour buses pulled into Providence, the Idols were weary from a long 11-week tour. We had the opportunity to speak with five of the final ten. <laughs> Crazy fans were outside the dunk when we arrived to talk with season eight's final ten. We'll get back to the fans in a bit. Since July 5th, the final ten has been touring 50 cities, including Little Rock, Arkansas. Hometown to season eight winner, Chris Allen. The most exciting thing, I uh, went back to my hometown and uh, did the show there, and it was packed out, sold out show. They've been drawing eight to 15,000 screaming fans every night, something Scott has dreamed of since he was a little kid. It's such a privilege to be uh, in this position and be able to share my heart night after night through music with all these people. It's amazing. The idols describe themselves as tight, like a family who have had loads of fun but a family which will soon go their separate ways. All we do is have fun. We find some way to have fun. So all three of us like to come together and rap or uh, we play games or watch movies. I'm getting kind of nostalgic and, and um, kind of I'm going to miss the guys and girls when we leave. It's, uh, we kind of formed a family. There's definitely mixed feelings. Um, I can't wait to go home to my family and home. Um, but it's also, you know, a new chapter is opening up. Who knows what's going to happen? It's kind of scary. Many chapters are opening up for Megan, maybe as a model or a talk show host. Lil says she'll have a single out next year. Danny has a country album in the works, and Chris Allen, of course, will remain very busy. I think uh, the next year or so is, is pretty lined up, but uh, we, have the, we have the CD coming out November 17th. Uh, the single's coming out really soon, right after tour. And, uh, yeah, everything's looking good. Man. Outside, we saw Matt and Allison while Michael was catching up with his fans. Members of Team Danny were here, too. When he sings, that's it. Everything else goes out the door. All my problems are gone. He takes away everything. Do you melt when he sings? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I do. <laughs> Literally. <laughs> there was no Anoop. No Adam, which disappointed these two normally straight-laced businesswomen who just want a picture with Adam before he becomes a big rock star. We're sisters, Pam and Penny. We're 40-something-year-olds, and we never do stuff like this, but Adam just spoke to us. I don't want to reveal my age, but I haven't been this excited about anybody in 20 years. <laughs> He's fantastic. Adam's my favorite, too. And by the way, Scott McIntyre is working on another album and a book which will detail many of the challenges he's faced in his life other than blindness. For The Roadshow, I'm T.J. Del Santo.